Hey everybody, uh, this Algebra 2 lesson is on multiplying matrices. This is a quick, uh, fast one, you guys. Alright, you can multiply two matrices, A and B, and this IFF means if and only if. I don't know if your geometry teacher did that with you guys. If and only if, the number of columns, the columns are the ones that go up and down. Think of a coliseum, the columns that hold up the coliseums, they go up and down. If the number of columns in A equals the number of rows, rows go sideways like this, and B. All right, so uh, so if if A is uh, an M type an M by N um, matrix and B is an N by P matrix, notice this number and this number match up. So the number of columns in A matches the number of rows in B. Then the product will be uh, an M by P matrix, and I have an example of that in just a little bit. Okay, so here's the rule right here, you guys. Uh, if these numbers match up right there, then the product is always going to be this number by this number right here. Okay? So, uh, state whether the product AB is defined, and if so, give the dimensions of AB. Okay? So, here's the first one. Uh, a is a 4 by 3, and B is a 3 by 2. Okay? Over here, A is a 3 by 4, and B is a 3 by 2. Okay? I just want to see, do these numbers match up? If they do, yes, they do here, then this one's going to be a 4 by 2 matrix. Over here, these numbers don't match up, so uh, that one uh, is not going to be defined, okay? So, uh, yes uh, on the first one, no on the second one right there, because the numbers, you got to see if these numbers match up, okay? And 4 and 3 do not match up. All right, okay, so steps to multiply matrices. All right, so don't let this confuse you, you guys. Okay, can you see that the number of columns here, 1, 2, equals the number of rows here, 1, 2? I know they're both 2 by 2s, so it's easy to see that. But if they do, then what you do is you multiply this number times this number, A times E, plus this number times this number, B times G. So I go first times first plus second times second. So this is my first row. This is my first column right here. Okay, so that's what this stuff says right here. Okay, and then for the upper right number over here, it's going to be uh, A times F plus B times H. Okay, that's what this says right here. Okay, for the lower left-hand one, it's going to be C times E plus D times G. That's what this says right here. And then for this number right here, it's going to be D times F plus D times H. Okay, it's real easy. You'll see. I'll give you a couple examples. All right, so this is a review from uh, before a bunch of this is, you guys. So given these matrices right here, these three matrices right here, so you probably, if you're in my class, you'd want to pause it and write these down for your notes. Okay, so find 4C. Okay, this is from the last lesson. You just go ahead and multiply all these numbers. I'm sorry, all these numbers in C times 4. Okay, so you're going to get that as your answer right there. Okay, so find uh, A plus B. Okay, A plus B would be this one plus this one. Well, this is not possible. This is a 3 by 3. This is a 2 by 2. I can't add those, you guys. It's not possible. Okay, A times B. Okay, is the number of columns here, 3, equal to the number of rows here, 2? Okay, and that's a big fat no, so this one's not possible either. All right? But, um, uh, let's see, that's what that says right there. Number of columns don't equal the number of rows. That's why it's not possible. How about B times C? Okay, is the number of columns here, 2, equal to the number of rows here, 3? Yes, so I can multiply this. So I'll do this on the next uh, page over here. Okay, so it's going to be, uh, here's B, here's C, and I'm going to multiply it. So I'm going to multiply 4 times 1 plus 2 times 3. That's going to be my top first number right there. 4 times 1 plus 2 times 3. And then my next one's going to be 4 times 2 plus 2 times 1. And then my next one's going to be 4 times negative 3 plus 2 times 0. That's going to be my top row. And my next one's going to be, uh, my bottom row is going to be negative 2 times 1 plus 3 times 3. And then the next one's going to be negative 2 times 2 plus 3 times 1. Next one's going to be 3 times negative 3 uh, plus 3 times 0. Okay, so I think I have all of that in there, right there. And if I did my arithmetic right, I should get uh, uh, that 3 by 2 matrix. Okay, 3 columns by 2. Alrighty, and again, if you are in my class, that would be your homework assignment. Okay, take care.